Hi guys, this is uh, the Mystic Modeler, Bruce, from the garage. Well, it's a beautiful Saturday, not a cloud in the sky. It's in the mid-70s. And this is part one of the Trumpeter HMS Dreadnought 1918 version. This is what I've got done so far. Let me show you. Let's see if you can see this. This is all I've got done so far. Superstructure top comes off. I got a little PE on there already. I've got all of this done underneath here. The deck glued on. So what I need to do, and what I'm holding up on here is, they gave me PE, but not enough. I've got a whole bunch of doors and stuff. I want to get the full PE. So I sent away for, from um, White Ensign slash Tom's Model Works, because they're both the same now, um, if you haven't figured that out. They're out of Huntington Beach, California. I just sent it off, and I don't know how long, so I'm on a hold. Uh, I could paint. But I want to wait till I'm ready to paint everything gray. And the, and the paint is going to be uh, Timia XF54. It's a uh, dark sea gray. The hull I'm painting in my AK. I can't even say the name. It's AK731. It's like, it's a whole red, deeper red, and there's going to be a black bootstripe around it for the water line. Um, and then I got a wooden deck for it. So once I get everything all painted on top here, I can lay down this part of the wooden deck. Same thing with this when I get all the photo etch on it. I could lay the wooden deck in here and here and then build up from there. So... That's what I'm held up on right now. So my building is, uh, I can build some smaller parts, and which I have that I could use the PE they gave me. I have extra uh, 1350 scale, since this is a 1350 scale kit, uh, railings to go, because they don't give you railings for the deck. So I got railing to go all the way around. I got plenty of that. I got that from uh, White Ensign and uh, well, Tom's model works is the same. Um, I've had that left over from other ships. And um, here, let me show you since I got it right here. Whoop. Here we go. Here's the wooden deck. I think I've showed you that before from Artlox. Okay. Uh, here's the PE they give you. They give you four. One, two, three, four. This one's got the uh, railing on it that's used in the superstructure. This is what I got from Thomas Models Works a while ago. I got these two. Here's a 350 scale I could use for the railing, and here's 350 scale, same company, White Ensign Models. This is ultra fine railings. So I don't know which one I'll use. I'll probably finish out this one first and save the ultra for something else. They're both the same, same scale. So that's a good thing. But it's it's come it'll come along. I mean it's it's got a lot of parts. I'm in no hurry. No hurry at all. So that's a that's a good thing. I got um, the wooden deck will be fun. Uh, I've been watching videos on how to do it since it's the first time I'm using art. Well, I've used art walks before, but on much smaller. So all you got to do is line up with the turrets, the barbettes, and you'll be fine. 
I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to learn how to do it. So that's where we're at with the Dreadnought. 1350 scale. She's all together. Sanded. Ready to take some primer. I could probably prime it. It's a good day for painting. My humidity gauge has got me in the blue, which is good. This I built up. It's a pretty cool ship model. I like it. It's uh, something different. Fits together well. It's a, it's a, a trumpeter kit. It's going to fit together well. So, here we go. These, I'll tell you what. Uh, let me take this off. Uh, the propeller shafts were a real pain. There's no holes in there. They just give you little marks to glue them on. So if you can see that, I got them all in there. I didn't, I'll didn't. i put the propellers on last because they're going to be gold. But um, I broke one, and you can't tell. You can't tell. I had to fix it. When it came off the sprue, you got to be real careful. But she went together very well. So... In the meantime, I got a text message this morning from um, a neighbor of mine that lives in the neighborhood. And he asked me if I could build a destroyer, a uh, Sullivan class destroyer. I said, sure. I says, you buy the kit, I'll build it. You know, and I'll contract my time to you for building it. And um, so he found, I told him to look at Trumpeter's website, and he did. He went on Amazon and got it for $35. It's a 1350 scale uh, USS Sullivan DDS 537. Um, so uh, I'm going to build that. I guess his grandfather sailed on that ship, and his dad's coming in in uh, July. So uh, it's only got about 700, and, not 700, 174 parts. So that shouldn't take long. It's most of the time it's going to be painting it. So I might put this on a hold for a little bit unless I get that PE and I can do... Uh, I'm not the type of person to do two things at once, two, two major kits. Well, this is a major kit. The other one's not going to be that bad. You know, it's just painting and detailing it out for them. Do a great job for them, of course, just like the rest. But that's what's going on. So I thought that was pretty cool. So the destroyer. Oh, I uh, did a little research on it already. It's about a foot long. I don't know. Does it um, have... I can't get things out. Why can't I get this out? Here we go. What's going on here? Oh, you gotta be anyway, it's about a foot. About that big. That's not too bad. That's a nice size destroyer. So, anyway, that's about it. Maddie's back in Seattle safely, and that was a nice two week stay. And um, everything's going great. So uh, we're working on the Dreadnought, 1918 HMS Dreadnought. And uh, when the destroyer comes, should be in here in less than a week. I, uh, depending on uh, where my PE is, hopefully it's coming soon. I'll uh, move this to the side. And work on the destroyer so he has it for his uh, dad when he comes in in July. Shouldn't take me that long to do, knock on wood. So that's about it. Shout out to everybody out there, all my friends on YouTube, all my subscribers. I want to thank you all. Um, um, I see a lot of people like the B-58 Hustler and the helicopter and tank build after I did the Thermopylae. And um, it was, uh, Thermopylae was a lot of fun to do. I, I enjoyed doing those sailing ships. I don't mind the battleships either. They're not too bad. 
I like I like ships. I really do. But there she is. The HMS Dreadnought. Final view. And this is the Mystic Modeler Bruce from where? You're absolutely right. The garage. So we'll talk to you all later. You have a great day. I know I will. I'm going to move you over here so I can uh, sign off. So I can see my sign off button here. And uh, I hope you guys have a great day. Peace out, everybody.